Now all about the gauchos. Last Thursday night, the tall, well-trained USSR junior basketball team played a shorter, scrappier team of American kids from the South Bronx. That's the team called the gauchos. I'm not going to tell you who won. Charles Osgood will do that after he tells you a little bit about who the gauchos are and where they come from. Think of this as a place you might want to leave someday. Think of this as a place where kids walk openly down the streets with car radios and hubcaps they don't necessarily own. Think of this as a place that has a passport out. That passport, of course, is basketball. And right here in the heart of the South Bronx is a shiny new $2 million gymnasium, which is owned by the Gauchos, a group of black kids organized by a white man. It's a hope for the future, a chance. And for now, it's a place to belong. Get in your lanes, get wide, take it out of the middle. They've been a real important part of my life. They helped me out with some tough decisions and prepared myself to be mature. They helped me a lot with that, you know. Good pass on them. It's been a very important part of my life because it's helped me develop as a person also. It's more like a family thing almost. You know, Scouts is a big family, like. It's the way you get the ball up court. There's no need to dribble the ball to get up court. Just run your sideline fast break. And one of the great things about basketball is that it is the art form of the inner city. This is something that these kids do better than any, anybody else. And without knowing it, playing this game, they are learning about rules and regulations and structure and teamwork. All of the important things that you need in life to grow. Lou Dalmeda, who founded the Gauchos in 1967, was born poor in Argentina 54 years ago. But his mother married a wealthy New York banker and Lou found himself attending fancy prep schools and then Yale University. Now he's a high-powered real estate tycoon who lives in Manhattan near Carnegie Hall and drives a Jaguar. For these kids here in the South Bronx, you must be like a man from another planet. Yes, you're right. They, that's true. I am from another planet. And they do look at me sometimes like I'm from another planet. But I'm not. I'm actually from this planet. And I am not in many ways very different from them. I have been luckier. The high school dropout rate in the South Bronx is disastrous. But all 400 kids in the Gauchos are still in school. That's one of Lou's requirements. And a good many of them will even go on to college with basketball scholarships. Billy Singleton, for example, grew up in the housing projects of the South Bronx. He's starting at St. John's University in the fall, thanks to the Gauchos. In the area of the South Bronx where we are now, and uh, we're in the, in the area where you are, there's a, there's a lot of distractions around. There's a, there's a lot of danger around in terms of drugs and crime. And, and the, it, you could easily have fallen into that if, uh, if, you, if you weren't occupied with this. Uh, do you ever think about that? Yeah, always. <laughs> My family thinks about it. Everybody thinks about it. I mean, it's, it's all around you. You can't help but think about it. And, you know, again, the gauchos have helped me, you know, stay clean and, you know, just um, step the right way, really. Arnie Bernard plays for the Gauchos, too. He's small, 5'6", on his tallest day, but jackrabbit fast. Arnie's dream, like everyone else's on the Gauchos, is to play in the NBA someday. And the Gauchos are so good, the talent scouts and college coaches show up all the time. Oh, yeah, all of them know about Gauchos. A lot of um, big Pearl Washington came from Gauchos that he picked me. And Rodney Strickland from Nepal. Uh, we got basically a lot of players that came from the Gauchos that's going to at least be pro or college stars now. How, how many people would you say that are in the Gauchos? What percentage of the guys are going to get uh, college scholarships of one kind or another? On the team we got now? Yep. Yeah, all of them. All of them? Yeah, I think everybody on our team will get a scholarship. It's a good school, big ones. You must stay in school to be in the Gauchos. 
Lou Dalmato keeps prodding the kids to keep up with their studies so they can go to college and take advantage of the scholarships the way Ed Pinckney did at Villanova. Pinckney with a move inside. He's in the NBA now with the Phoenix Suns. When he was at Gaucho, there was no beautiful gym. We all had to meet at the uh, 149th Street and 3rd Avenue train station. Now they can, can meet at the Gaucho gym. They can, they can meet there. They can uh, not only play basketball here, but they can meet here and talk about the girls that they saw on, a, you know, on a, another street or another corner or whatever. So it, it's more than just a gym. It, it's a place where they can all get together and, and, and do good things for themselves. Guys that do anything for you. Dwayne Pearl Washington went from the Gauchos to Syracuse University, and then he too made it to the NBA. He's now with the New Jersey Nets. Pearl thinks Lou is a pearl for making everybody hit the books as well as the boards. If it weren't for the Gauchos, where would most of these kids be tonight, you explain? Forget these kids, you know, where would I be? You know, I, I, like I said, Lou has been great to me and for me. And uh, like I said, if it wasn't for this type of atmosphere and, uh, and him, him himself, no telling where these kids would be. The gym has no graffiti on it. It may be the only building in the South Bronx that doesn't. That's because it belongs to the kids. Lou gave it to them, just as he gives them their equipment, their uniforms, and so much of himself. When I leave the South Bronx and go downtown as the the yards go by and the miles go by, there is such a world of difference. And that saddens me. I mean, that saddens me that there's such a world of difference as to what goes on here and what goes down uh, on downtown. But, uh, and it does, it bothers me a lot, but I try to do something about perhaps, uh, you know, making that gap smaller. Jump shooters are, you know who your second power man would be coming down, and you set him up, one, two, three, four. All right, and then you smack the ball so you have some timing on the play. Go ahead. Lou has been running the Gauchos for 20 years now. He knows each one of the 400 kids. They start young, some as early as age seven. As they get bigger, they compete for places on older teams. And by the time a Gaucho is 17 or 18, he's usually been playing with the same teammates for a half dozen years or more. They know each other's moves instinctively. They needed that teamwork on Thursday night when the Russians came to town. A traveling squad of 18-year-olds from the Soviet Union. Look at these Russians, Lou says. You're seeing the Soviet Olympic basketball team in 1988. They are big, and they are good. The Gauchos earned their way into this game, winning regional playoff competition sponsored by the AAU. And they showed the Russians just how good basketball in the Bronx can be. Arnie Bernard lit up the Gaucho gym. Driving, passing, scoring past the taller, more experienced Soviets. Billy Singleton was a rock on defense. And for good measure, sunk a crucial free throw in the waning seconds. It was close, but the final score was Gauchos 89, Soviets 86. Win or lose, all Lou Dalmeda wants the kids to do is to give it their best shot in the game and in their lives. That's what he's in it for, and that's the only reward he wants. If, if a kid makes it, I'm always thrilled. I don't want to thank you. I don't want, I know th what it means to them. Some of them are not articulate enough to, to, to be able to know about the niceties. They don't write me a thank you note or something, and some of them do, but, um, the point is that they are just as good as any kids in any other strata of society. Leave it to 